DM is the song for today. <laughs> Appreciation is the secret to life. Become a person who appreciates and you will thrive. You will fulfill your reason for being. When I appreciate, I feel so very good. You guys could be noticing butterflies around you as well. You're becoming more sensitive and you need to make changes accordingly. Black motherfuckers if you need to. Wrapping your head, wearing crystals. Make whatever changes to protect your energy. Okay, we have soulmate relationship. Waves of prosperity, new abundance and exciting opportunities is washing over you now. Being appreciative of the prosperity and the abundance. I am a life everlasting. I am an eternal being. You cannot die, you are everlasting life. In grace, you may choose to relax and allow your gentle transition back into your non-physical state of pure and positive energy. So, yeah. Hey, big kid. And then we got soulmate relationship. So yeah, this is for spiritual beings. You are definitely needing to keep yourself protected in any and all aspects, ways. The measure of your success is your joy. Appreciating. Someone could have a new relationship and somebody could be in the DMs. Okay. Now your soulmate could be someone that's like resonating on the same frequency as you or this the love connection. So y'all take that however. Okay, let's get clarity on new abundance and exciting opportunities. They are renewing. Okay. Or these opportunities is going to feel renewing. You're sparking these opportunities, these waves of abundance. Okay, if you guys are going through the dark night of the soul or you're facing your shadow side, being appreciative. Appreciate everything and learning that if you're expressing gratitude, just how much the universe will actually come through for you. 
okay? The exciting new opportunities or the abundance is going to like renew the appreciation inside of you. Okay. Sensitivity. Yeah, what I say, expressing gratitude. It's like you're going to be grateful for that. You guys could be, with this sensitivity, you guys could be receiving downloads through your dreams. Okay. You are an eternal being. Divine feminine. Soulmate relationship. Like, exactly like I said, someone who's on the same vibrational match as you. Someone that's done the same amount of work to renew themselves as you have. Yeah, the measure of my success is my joy. So something pertaining to your contracts, your careers, or your commitments. So even if this is success pertaining to your career, it's all about the amount of gratitude, the amount of appreciation that you're feeling. It's like, man, if I wouldn't have went through that you know, that shadow side wouldn't have confronted my shadow side, then I would be continuously doing, you know, the same bogus ass shit. So being grateful for it. What I said, what I said. <laughs> what did I say? Ending a cycle with a masculine. Look, taking action on a stalemate. Exactly what I said. This soulmate is someone that you're in a union with. Or that you will be in a union with. Releasing a stalemate. Taking action to be done with that shit. Renewing your inner child. What's going on with this? Becoming more sensitive and you need to make changes accordingly. Ancestor guides are talking to you. Again, someone is a spiritualist, an alchemist here. So you're getting messages through your dream state. You could be receiving dreams about someone's true intentions towards you. There's a feminine energy that is going through an awakening right now. So you need to understand that you are an eternal being. Protecting your energy, your aura by any means necessary someone could want to apologize for being closed off I don't know why I'm saying remembering your dreams Okay, what's going on with soulmate? What's going on with this soulmate? I 
Okay, yeah, someone is wanting to apologize due to them being in their pride, making like moves out of their pride. Your soulmate is at a distance from you. The winter time, and then we have an air sign. I mean, I'm sorry. You could be an air sign, but we have a water sign here. Look, offering a reunion <coughs> and offering stability, being open to that. In the winter time. There could also be as far as your um, career. Be open to receiving some offers. That is going to provide you with stability. With a stable life. Memories of a twin flame. So yeah. That's confronting this shadow side. So this twin flame was definitely a stalemate. And that's what's going to help you to renew your inner child. Because then you get in this energy like, okay, what the fuck is going on? Why am I dealing with this? And then that's when you start to progress. And that, yeah, progress. What I said, what did I say? What did I say? Growth into your purpose. Exactly what the fuck I said. Yo, uh, protect yourself because someone could be projecting, projecting some shit onto you. So definitely guard yourself. Crystals, wrapping your head, or just not dealing with motherfuckers. That's deceitful. Fire sign. Clarity. Let's get clarity on this fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. You're receiving clarity fire sign that someone is like trying to project some bullshit onto you fire signs Okay, we have an earth sign, thoughts of fulfillment. Someone could have been projecting some deception at a party. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Thoughts. Of fulfillment. What's going on with this twin flame? Memories of a twin flame. Illusions of you being in a loving, nurturing union when the fuck it ain't.
what's going on with earth sign thoughts of fulfillment so earth signs you're fulfilled i mean the things that let me see Something fulfilling is coming for you guys. Yep, in divine timing. Trust in this divine timing. Trust in these messages. transforming your thoughts and limitations to your fulfillment because someone is projecting some bullshit onto you. To cause you to be imbalanced and feeling fucked up. Let's see what's going on here. We have financially wealthy and someone being financially responsible as well. What's going on with the overall message? Manifestations coming to light right before your eyes. I will prepare a table before you so that your enemies can watch you eat. We have Aquarius rising. Okay, spirit can change your life overnight. All hidden agendas will be revealed in the dreams or in a vision with this epiphany. So write that shit down exactly like I said. What's going on? <laughs> You could be honestly appreciative that a relationship is completely over with. What else? Give me more clarity on this. Hmm. Continue to be led by faith not by sight because spirit can come in and change your life within the, just the blink of an eye
What's going on for those that have an Aquarius rising? What message does those who have an Aquarius rising need to know? This is someone that is a person of integrity. They aren't easily swayed by others. They don't give a fuck what nobody else got going on. They are to teach the way of God or of spirit according to the truth. And then for Aquarius rising, this says electric value, being of service, compassion, creativity, and empath. Creative ideas flow through this person. Secretly love to be freaky. Love to learn about life and experiences of others. Seeking knowledge in order to grow. They're a big contribution to society. <laughs> Aries man or boy, I hope you're somewhere praying. We easily see potentials in other, but then we neglect the potential within ourselves. You could be studying this Aries. Don't overthink how this blessing, this manifestation is going to come. Just believe in it. Be evident of it. Know that you are worthy of it. The right customers will come within time and then you will get acknowledgement, recognition for the discipline and the hard work that you have put in. What's going on with this Aries boy? Don't look back in anger, look forward in growth. So this is the one that you're honestly glad that ah, you're honestly glad that the situation is over with. Yeah, we have Pisces Moon, a partner who's into religion, strong spiritual practices. Be grateful that spirit did not give you what you thought you wanted because there is something better. Okay, so don't look back and be angry about anything. Just like, oh, got another notch up under my belt. Okay. If I can't have you, nobody can have you. So somebody is trying to manipulate someone because their, their poor little heart is broken. Laugh. She ain't got nothing to do with you. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What's going on? We got fire sign up here. Your dick ain't big enough to be fronting on me. Teach your heart to accept what can't be changed. Fire sign. Yeah, fire sign. Something about an event with a fire sign. I already said that, but it's here again. Okay, somebody wealth could be built off deception. Fire sign. The serial harassment ends today. 
Fire sign is an emotionally troubled individual. Okay, earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You guys could be experiencing, yeah, experiencing ascension symptoms. The sensitivity is here again. Okay, we have Orishas. Spending time with your children, only focused on what's next. Your child or children. Okay, we have life path number three. Remain in a childlike state. We have musician, a writer, actor, dancer, speaker, politician. Authentically expressing your inner essence. As you were evolving. Being a gold digger would be hustling ass backwards. That's the same as making deals with the devil. Okay, yeah, like I said, someone spending time with their child or children. Too busy being an adult. The harassment is definitely about to hit somebody hard. Whoever this is that's doing this manipulation shit because they, they fall up in the circle. And someone is about to be demoted due to them having harmful intentions. So somebody is about to lose their ranking, their position at their job, their class, some shit like that. Okay. Um, it was water sign. That was the other, okay, water sign. Water sign. Not seeing you is hurting me. I miss you. The truth will always set you free. Saturday. Let me see what it said about water sign. Yeah, not seeing you was hurting me like crazy. And I said someone was at a distance. Someone is definitely focused on their adult, like, getting shit done. Reuniting and telling the truth that will always set motherfuckers free. Okay. What's going on with this water sign? Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer? Yeah, offers of multiple streams of income. It says offers. Be open to offers for stability. Females, S through X, could be significant. Being with your soulmate, that gives you strength. Because that's someone that's on the same vibe as you, that's on the same frequency. Water sign. Following your heart.
Someone could be saying, I don't want her, I want you. I just put that back in there though. Um, let's see. Water sign. Or she is. Somebody could be getting fired. If that's not demoted, then the motherfucker is getting fired. A water sign, you can have three or more children. Or someone has three or more children, and another person could only have one child. Take it however. Let's see. This water sign is divine masculine. It could be spending time with the child, celebrating or doing something fun. A state of being honored and respected. Someone of honorable rankings. Water sign. Truth revealed, I can't picture you with someone else. I hope it's not too late. You will be more at peace soon. Somebody could be winning the lottery next week. Or soon. Don't listen to what other people say. Take charge. Scapegoats. You're the golden ticket. Be patient in your search for the truth. And understand that rejection is your protection. There could be a divine masculine that detail cars. Do like window tinting. Washing cars doing like speakers or something like that yeah see what i said i don't want her i want you yeah see i said somebody was gonna win the fucking lottery what's going on with this orisha Oh, 
let's pull a room and see what's going on with this. All right, we have Gevo, a gift. And then we have Great Ho. I don't know, but I don't see no Orishas out here yet. Maybe you guys could be seeing something about a Orisha. I'm trying to see. Damn, I just seen seventy or ninety thousand. Somebody could be hitting big. Or a million. What is going on with this Orisha? Okay, indigo children, the sensitive healers, your transformation is an inspiration to other people. They're sending you to expose the powers within you. Trying to see if an Arisha fell out. Okay, we can have a Pisces man and then look, order being established. It's not serious until actions back it up. If you haven't met this Pisces yet, then this Pisces could be coming in. Yeah, write down your dreams in a journal. Or and just write down your dreams. When you're having these epiphanies, write it down. Happiness, coming together, being proud of your success, meditating. Especially if you have a small business, have faith in your business. I'm trying to see. Turn that smile upside down and be happy. People be running from themselves. They're a lazy freeloader. Being open to expand your tribe. The blessed don't beef with the miserable. So remember that. Always stay in high vibrations. That's why I said to protect yourself. Cover yourself. Okay. Anyways, let's go over these rooms real quick I don't know if y'all are like y'all maybe 
I don't know why I'm hearing Xavier right now because I don't know anyone named Xavier. But, <laughs> anyways, let me see. This is pertaining to gifts, generosity, opportunities, and commitments. Whether it's a partner, family member, friend, or a colleague, it shines the light on your connection. It's a reminder that a healthy relationship is a reciprocal one. This room is an invitation to examine your connections and ask if they have a balanced exchange of energy. Depending on the context of the reading, you may need to look out for situations where you are giving more of yourself than you are receiving. Getting to the point where you feel depleted or resentful is always a clue that the relationship has run its course. A lucky break is on the horizon or you're going to receive a surprise gift. This could be a physical or something intangible such as an offer of emotional support. You may unearth a new natural talent or take on some of your favorite things from the past to a whole new level. You are embracing your skills and putting them to good use. And then for Raid Home, this is about traveling time, movement, and your inner journey. This room means that you're going places. It signifies your literal journey or your inner journey. It is a thumbs up from the universe that you're on the right path, encouraging you to keep going, even if the road feels bumpy. Stay present and enjoy your journey. This represents new path, new experiences, new ideas. In a moment of doubt, you may feel like it could be an easier way or you should just stay put. <coughs> but this is your green light to go for it. Stop worrying about what other people think and just go for it. This rune also relates to the will. It reminds us about life being a cycle. You're transitioning from one stage in your life to another. Changing jobs, moving homes. Remember that change is inevitable. The will just keeps on turning. Or somebody could be taking flight. To reunite. Okay. Traveling to reunite with someone. That's another thing that I see as well. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we have a, someone is lonely, and that's what they deserve. <clears throat> there could be a water sign female that's experiencing heartbreak, trauma, or sorrow. You can be grateful that someone is receiving what they deserve. That like that karma shit. Um, withdrawing from something and moving forward. Yeah, this water sign. This is a water sign female. This could be like your family. Heartbreak, trauma, sorrow from someone that you're not compatible with. And so if you've isolated yourself from that, you're, you've taken the initiative to isolate yourself from that and to move forward. <clears throat> 
What else? All right. Financial security, family. So yeah, if you're managing resources, then I'm definitely seeing money coming to you. Okay, you possibly were gullible as to why you were why you were experiencing the trauma, the heartache or whatever from someone that is not giving what it was supposed to give. Okay? So you may have compromised to deal with a person Compromised with someone that you weren't even compatible with. Being gullible. Yeah, someone that's mediocre. <laughs> and you were blinded to the truth. But things are like you're isolating yourself to heal, to renew yourself, to take initiative, to move forward. So that you can manifest this money. So it's like not having blockages. Allowing your dreams to come true. Because you understand that there's endless possibilities. Yeah, somebody is definitely experiencing financial hardship, setbacks, and being drained. Just continue to lead with your heart. Make sure that you're consistent with the work that you are doing. And know that there's endless possibilities. So it's like, don't give up. Think logically about your new beginning. Stand your ground. Standing up for yourself for anyone that's talking shit. About you moving forward, letting go of grief and healing. Someone could be an Aquarius. We got Aquarius, Virgo, Libra. This could be a water sign female or someone that is an empath. Scorpio could be very significant. If this isn't a Scorpio, then this is someone that is an empath listening to their intuition about a new beginning, a transformation, and a powerful movement. Okay. Let's see. What else? Yeah, see, there was one a, a particular masculine that you were, like, repeating your mistakes with. You were ignoring your calling and just allowing this bullshit to go on. But then when you have a real man around, then you will thrive. Your free spirit will be able to thrive. Yeah. To be able to reclaim your power. Being self-reliant. Being freely. Being, I said freeless. Fearless. <laughs> and thriving. So it's, it's giving me, it's like just how vital it is for you to stand in your power. Burn that past shit and keep moving forward. Towards the person that you're supposed to be with. Don't stay stuck. If you're waiting on a sign. Or you're experiencing delays by dealing with people. That's because you're not supposed to be with them. 
Yeah, taking for granted. Letting go of motherfuckers from your past and seeing the truth. Okay, what's going on? I have faith and I have grace. That fell right up under reclaiming your power as a free spirit. And embracing change, personal power, moving forward. Third eye open. Brown skin. So somebody is black. Pull yourself together, pretty woman. Or this pretty woman could be brown skin. Y'all take it together. I'm, I say take it together. <laughs> take it however. Pull yourself together. Find that faith, that grace. Okay. We have the voice, mushroom, kitten, sit, and Milky Way. Someone's being impulsive, trying to cause an uphill battle for you. But money is coming and your motherfucking ancestors are on it. Yep. We got Atlantic Ocean, Bowl of Cherries, Good Morning America. Smile daily. You're beautiful. New York or New Hampshire could be significant. Doesn't necessarily have to be. That could be where someone's going or coming from. Wow, this says this shit crazy. She loves me. Mm. It's level two, my baby. Oh, the night. That's exactly what I just heard. The Indigo song by Chris Brown. Indigo and open your third eye. So, bitch, how you gonna argue with me, ho, and you don't even know what the fuck you talking about? See, that's the shit. That's why I don't be on goddamn social media, because I just can't. You don't even know what the fuck you talking about, bitch. So, how you gonna try to stress a motherfucking situation? Pack the fuck down. See, when just y'all just gotta really know, you know when to ignore ignorant motherfuckers. Cause some people is just literally ignorant as a bitch. <laughs> 